Hi my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please forgive the lighting. I actually wasn't trying to um, do a video or anything today, but I, I genuinely felt this strong message on my spirit and stopped me dead in my tracks, made me go outside. The message was go outside, go outside, go outside. This has everything to do with the more that I sat with it and the more that I received, the more that I understood that we are in the midst of incredible, miraculous, powerful change. This is the end of a season, a cycle in our life. And it's so important that we energetically begin to cleanse ourselves of what it is that we're walking out of. If not, we are going to find our energy and our bodies, our spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical bodies bound up in what we have just freed ourselves from. And it's so imperative that you release and relinquish the past, that you release what has already occurred, what has already happened. And spirit actually guided me through like a visual guide, taking the memories, taking the experiences, reliving it, going back. And astrologically speaking, there's Pluto currently retrograde. There is the full moon happening in the sign of Sagittarius. The full moon brings in wisdom. It is a higher sense of wisdom. It shifts our perspective. It shifts our beliefs. It shifts our philosophy. It awakens within us beliefs that were ingrained in us since before we were born, right? Before we were born. This is wisdom that we don't learn here on earth, but it gets awakened in us again while we're moving through earth, on, on earth. So this wisdom is very ancient. It's very, very ancient and it's found within you. And the, the Scorp I'm sorry, the Sagittarius full moon really brought that wisdom to light and is ending a really powerful season and cycle within your life. And it's so important, Spirit says, like with such urgency to let this go, finally let it go. And it's not something that you can exclusively do um, in your bed, in your room, in your house, you have to go to a, a spot within nature and allow nature, allow the earth to absorb the experience and to cleanse it off of you. And as I, as I was kind of, spirit was walking me through that, it was showing me how the earth is very absorbent. She's very powerful, but she, to her core, there's fire to the very core of this earth there's fire and when you redirect energy when you do when you direct the memory when you direct this past season into the core of the earth it will disintegrate it will be destroyed it will be removed it will transmute it will be trained changed into something and but spirit is very protective of you the divine is so protective of you and the divine doesn't want or need you carrying on the, the baggage, the burden, the memories of what it is that you have just recently have walked out of. It's so important that you almost have a conversation with the earth and the divine is going to meet you. Think about, as I'm saying this now, spirit is giving me the image of when we plant seeds, when we plant seeds in the earth and we don't see them in the dirt we know that we might have planted it but we don't see it in the dirt but the plant starts to rise up to the surface that's spirit is showing the energy that there's and there's a life that is in the earth and will rise to meet up and and honestly well i'm getting this i'm getting this strong sense that it's like an exchange like as soon as we make it's i just heard we're going to break ground together we're going to connect together um some of you guys are uh, coming out of a period a long this is a long journey forgive me for closing my eyes I'm just I'm channeling right now and I'm really feeling it but some of you guys this is a long journey this is a long long journey it is it is actually impeded and impacted your mental and emotional well-being your emotional and mental health because this has been a um, this has been something that has not destroyed your spirit but felt very similar to destroying your spirit because you wanted this you wanted something so so great like you you manifested you prayed about this this could be a some it could uh, for some people i'm seeing a connection to family like lineage where you're you don't choose the family that you were 
that you were born into in this in this world but because because that this is the family it comes with certain karma and certain baggages and certain feelings that you've had to navigate through and you've only just recently I don't say only lightly but you've just recently released the expectations <clears throat> around and I'm even at your throat you might have even spoken up for yourself and stand firm in that you've spirit is saying that you finally come to the space in your life and your in your in your I just heard nomadic journey, nomadic journey. So this is a long way that you've been walking, solo dolo, probably doing it on your own intuition, on your own accord, keeping your eyes on the divine, asking spirit, yo, inspire me, lead me, send me gurus, send me teachers, show me the way because there's nowhere. Where is there that I can find a teacher? You have conjured up, you have asked for, you have prayed for the teacher and the teacher showed itself in certain lessons and that has been your light that has been the thing that has been really guiding you through this for some of you guys you're ending really interesting patterns in your purpose here you're i'm getting a sense that um how you showed up for the world or how you showed up in certain things is adjacent to your purpose but it's it wasn't exclusively like it wasn't meant to always look like this it wasn't meant to stay this way because in you being of service there was something there that it took from you it took from you and as i'm saying that spirit says bring it back to me bring it back to me bring it to the earth ground yourself within the earth we're going to make a connection we're going to connect you to the root. We're going to grow you from that space, from that root. But before that, we want to heal you. We want to heal you. We want to take it off of you. This is the last time I'm hearing. This is the last time that you will ever experience this. And that's why it's so important. That's why it's so urgent today that you go to the earth and that you push it into the earth. And that you let it go for the last and final time that you close out this chapter. There is immense healing. I'm getting this really strong sense that there's gonna be immense healing that comes from this space. If, you could admit, if you're committing to going to the earth and putting it into the ground and letting it go and letting it be transmuted. Some of you guys are, um, you're look, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like, some of you guys are really looking for understanding to explain to you bits and pieces of your story that you still don't understand. You're trying so hard to wisen up, to become mature, to grow. Spirit says that you don't need to force this, that you're, the wisdom that's being awakened within you, it'll, it'll come in time, but for now, you, you, you're gonna want to be cracked open. For now, you being cracked open and letting the guard down letting the wall down saying like i don't have the answer to this i don't know what to do with this that is wise even in itself and that's where healing is going to come that's where the answers are going to come but spirit says um try not to figure this out you will figure it out but right now healing needs to occur it's not that you're broken, it's not that there's damage, it's just that there's something in the energetic body, there's something in the in the aura, there's something around, in, around, I don't know, that it's, it's time to release it, and that is the final, the final. I just heard the word code, so that's very specific, but it's the final, it's the final step in releasing this and you it's not that you can't move forward it's just that you shouldn't move forward without completely pulling this pulling this ch chapter off of you pulling this energy off of you it's a, a total energetic cleanse and it's supposed to happen right now for some of you guys i'm getting a vision of a boat but it's like an upgrade of a boat so it's like going from like a tugboat to like a believe it or not like a yacht it's like a sailboat but it's very intricate this is I heard um, I heard the word solid so spirit is guiding you into 
it's interesting that spirit is guiding me to talk about the ocean and talk about water um, and the depth of it and referring to that space of movement as something that is solid for you and it's I, I to me the first thing that I'm thinking about is how solid this next chapter and this next journey in your life <gasps> no sorry guys I don't like mosquitoes no I don't like mosquitoes <laughs> Franklin's like she said no um yeah there's this next it's it's talking about the journey like literally there's like a new and there's something about the word nomadic like it's like a person who has been in the desert and now they're tr going they're they're starting their journey on the ocean and this is going to be something that is solid and this is going to be something that is true to your nature let's say you were born spirit is saying like if you were born in the desert but you're meant for the ocean we're taking you to the ocean or you're on the ocean now and this is the next chapter in your life so the next season in your life is exactly where it is that you're meant to be but there's something about letting go of the baggage the survival mechanisms the memories not that you can't go back to them not that they just don't want you to relive it and they don't want the lessons of the past to be present in in the in the now and once you commit to getting it out to crying it out to talking about it to releasing it to putting it into the earth it will be completely absorbed from you forever and it, it extends beyond just you it's generational it's um you're speaking not only from your own self but from your ancestors those who have come before you you your your life is bigger than just your life your experience is bigger than just your experience it's always that way but it's even it's very significant right now um, Spirit is leading me to tell you guys what it is that you need to do. So basically, you get on your hands and your knees, on the earth, on the ground. Um, it, if you can't go outside or to a park or to a backyard, it's completely understandable. Um, Spirit says that you can put down a blanket or something in those areas or do it at home. Just make sure that you're on the earth. Visualize the grass. Visualize earth if you can't actually be in the earth. Take your fingertips, make them like a little tent. Like let's say the ground is, this is very specific, so just follow it verbatim. No exceptions to this. I know some of you guys, whenever I share like rituals or anything like that, especially when if they're from the divine, you guys ask for exceptions to it. And no shade, but don't do that. Like if spirit is giving you specific, in specific instructions, don't look for a shortcut and don't look for the easy way out, you know? I know that it's not the easiest, I've, I get it, but you know so anyways um oh so let's say this is the ground your hands are gonna your fingertips are gonna be like a tent above the ground both of your hands are gonna be on the ground you're gonna be on your hands and knees and your hands are your fingertips are pointing into the earth you're gonna be on your hands and knees kind of like bent over let me see if I can show you guys sorry I'm like outside in my garden well, you probably can't see, but I'm, I would be bent over fingertips onto the earth and almost in a way that's comfortable for you, but not nothing extreme, right? So let's just have it, have it so that your hands are hovering and that you're leaning more on your legs. If you need to, you can put your head down. That's always something that I do. Put my head down, allow my forehead to touch the earth. And I share my stories. I talk to the, di I talk to the divine. I talk to my angels and my guides about what it is that I've gone through where it is that I've come from, what it is that I've experienced, how I feel, what I need to let go of, what things that I understand that I need to let go of, things that I don't understand that I need to let go of, I just say, take it, take it. Anything that does not serve me, it's time for me to let it go. Any memories that resurface, I'll relive it, I'll, I'll see it again in my third eye vision and I push it into the earth. I allow the earth to absorb it for me and I completely let it go. For some of you guys, I'm hearing the word hinge. Some of you guys have been pivoting or maneuvering from one space. Spirit is gonna disconnect that hinge from you so you're not constantly swinging back into it. You let it go. We wanna speak power into you. We wanna speak discernment into you. We wanna completely cut any toxic cords. We thank the universe. We thank our ancestors. We thank our guides. We thank the divine for the experiences that have led us this far and we let it go. We close out this chapter in our lives with gratitude in our hearts. We say thank you and we completely release, we surrender.
So visualize your fingertips into the earth, absorbing any type of energy, memories, ch the chapter, all of it, all of it. It's not just this year. It's, it's many years. It's not just this year. It's many years that have led up until this moment. For some of you guys, you've been battling specific things like cancer. Spirit is, is going to absorb that out of your body, off of your body. For some of you guys, you've been battling um, really bad heartache, really bad heartache, heaviness in the heart, disappointment, abandonment, toxic patterns, ways that you've been violated. Those are things that are going to be absorbed by the earth right now. Give gratitude for it because finally the time has come right now. I send you guys all of my love. I know that this is not one of my usual videos. I haven't channeled publicly for the world in a, in a minute in this way. Um, again, I wasn't planning on doing this. It's Monday, as you guys know, so Mondays are usually my full days. Also, please ignore all of the chicken stuff in the background. It's been raining here, so my girls are just living their life and things start growing and becoming abundant. Good things and bad things, you know, so. Anyways, guys, I'm sending you all of my love. I hope this message um, met those who it was meant for. I hope this message is received by those, who's, those it's meant for. Um, you'll know if it's you, guys, but also don't try to take any shortcuts or anything. And once you release it, once you put it into the earth, let it go, burn a white candle. I've got a healing candle actually burning right now um, from my shop, but in my office right now. Hi, Stinky. Hi, babe. You're so cute. My chickens are like, so what are you guys talking about today? Um, I'm sending you guys all of my love and thank you so much for hanging out with me. And thank you guys for being open to receiving this message. And again, I hope that it meets you with perfect divine timing. And of course, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Good luck.